Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. Before we get into it, let's get this video a thumbs up. If you're new around here, go ahead and hit subscribe. Turn on the post notifications so you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. So before we get into it, I want to say happy Easter Day to all my real ones. Day ones, happy Easter Day. I love you guys. You already know it. Even to the haters, man. Happy Easter Day, silly rabbits. But anyways, guys, next week, AMC get ready guys i know you guys already saying man i'm tired of getting ready i'm tired of getting ready well hell i'm tired of getting ready too but amc has done some things and for the ones that got on late by chasing you should be able to learn from your experience and know not to chase now buy when everyone else is scared and sell when everyone else is greedy and happy and, and, and thrilled and hyped so understand the process and understand what you're doing so i understand people is frustrated i understand people is mad i understand people is tired of here and get ready but amc hasn't done what is potential of it what the potential of amc is able to do it haven't done it yet even though i shaved like i told you guys and i've been telling you guys a lot of people you know take that as two different sides some people understand it and they feel it and they're going to do it and some people ain't effing with it they stay all in they say they're going to either lose big or they're going to win big so it's all up to you and don't you know i don't care if you i don't care how you look at me or whatever you think of me but i'm saying other people don't be looking at each other each other i'm trying to help you guys get a perspective of each other because i don't care what you think of me but don't be getting mad at other people in the comments or anybody that say they done the same thing or they want to do the same thing because it's all about protecting your wealth guys i don't care what nobody tells you i don't care how you know how much of a profit they show you that they up i don't care how much they show you that they down it, the real thing is when you lock in when you lock in those losses you actually took that loss or when you lock in those gains you actually took that game you probably some people probably seen their portfolio up thousands big thousands as we ran up and just watched it didn't shave none off didn't share, share not one share and then just watch it all crumble come down on them. like what you expect even if we continue to rise higher this thing ain't just about to run 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 and run and run and run and run and run and run, and run without no type of psychological logical aspects coming into play and dropping it real hard to scare you away then running it right back up like i told you guys amc i still believe amc has potential amc only ran up twice after running up to his all-time high 77 dollars that was the only time we did so that we ran straight up you know almost with ease and then once we did that for the seven months straight running up articles after articles this is crazy you know everybody hype then for the next seven months eight months we came trending down i'm talking about straight down the same pattern we had going up to our all-time high 77 dollars that's the same pattern we had coming down for the past eight months until we recently got that spike up to 33 34 dollar level and like i told you guys pay attention to the math it took them eight months to drag us down artificially you to the low level of 13 14 dollar range and it only took us 14 days a matter of days not months not excessive weeks but a matter of days for us to get right back to half of the value of our all-time high we got the 33 34 double up that's 66 67 that's our all-time high was 77 even though from the speaking of the media or anything if you was to look it up it'll say 72 dollars so that's even closer to you know 64 67 if we go by their math but from my math we know we hit all-time high in the pre-market of 77 dollars so that's just to show you how fast and how quickly this thing could actually move guys so you know don't be discouraged be encouraged and just know that you know get everything as a as a learning lesson meaning you know once you see that portfolio go crazy jump up you in the profits you in the gains take profits that don't necessarily mean sell everything take it all but take some make yourself comfortable get in a position to where you was on defense right now i'm on defense because i'm playing with the house's money and that's what i try to exaggerate and tell you guys all the time from day one i only put in amc what i was willing to lose even though the play and everything was lining up to be, you know, some crazy returns and life changing money. It's still for the simple fact that let's think about it logically. This is only going up because of us, the people, the movement, us coming together and going against these hedge funds and institutions and running the stock price higher, guys, by owning the float. But we know that 
this wasn't happening fundamentally. This wasn't happening because AMC was was selling out every movie they put out. This won't happen because popcorn was selling at a 10x rate than it was selling before. No, this was happening because of us. So if I know that, why would I put everything or majority of my wealth or anything other than something I'm willing to lose on a play where I got others, retail investors, what they call dumb money, giving them my my life support basically you get what i'm saying if you put everything put all your money on the line you basically putting all your money in the hands of other retail investors you got to believe in them enough to make sure they stay in the play to help you continue to grow your wealth and that's something i'm not comfortable with unless i'm playing with a very very small amount of money guys so like i say a small amount of money to me though is 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 a lot of the money to somebody else or the small amount of money to me is is peanuts to somebody else it all depends on your perspective and where you at is in life you got you know i may i may be you know the content creator or whatnot but i'm pretty sure i got people on this channel that's doing better than me you know i got people on this channel that's watching me that i probably could learn from i got people not probably that i know i can learn from because i got a lot of older people that i know have wisdom i got a lot of people on my page especially on one of the previous videos a lot of y'all 50 60 40s you get what i'm saying and i love that though that just you know that that, that speaks volume and you already know guys but my thing is just you know be 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 this should be you know be smart be smart about your decisions guys and know to always make yourself comfortable in every situation because the more comfortable you is, that's the more control you have over every situation, guys. Every situation. And especially in the more stock market. So you already know, guys. And also what I want to bring to our attention is coming up and about to start a new week. You know they're trying to go ahead and put out articles. Reason why you should sell AMC. Uh, you got this uh, large institution uh, shaving off AMC, selling Apple, buying PayPal. So they putting this stuff out there to put even more fear on the line whenever we down bad in the red. Whenever we start training back up in the green, running up, you'll see the same articles. Why should you buy AMC? How the meme stock frenzy is not over yet. How retail investors still being in this over a year and a half. You'll see all those articles. So they just go with the flow, whatever they see in front of them, guys. So like I told you guys, AMC only ran up twice. GME ran up six to seven times, meaning when it hit its all time high, it came down to, you know, it came down $100, 150 a share, shot back up $200 a share, 150 a share. Came back down hundreds a share, shot back up hundreds a share. It did that six, seven, seven to eight times, guys. And AMC only did it once. Now, recently, we just did it twice. So I'm pretty sure we're going to do it again. And once we do do it again, that's when you need to be taking full advantage and coming up with a plan how you going to make this situation more comfortable for you how you going to make it more easier for you how are you going to do this your exit plan you know because you can't just sit and stay in one spot forever you get what i'm saying you gotta come up with some type of plan how are you going to you know play it play it out all the way to the end guys because that's how a lot of people get stuck they get stuck and they become bag holders because they don't have a plan because even if amc was to shoot back to its all-time high shoot two hundreds of dollars a share then it shoot to a thousand right i guarantee you we'll still have complainers doubters and everybody else on the channel once it hit that thousand dollars and come tumbling right back down hard all the way back to 30 20 dollars a share i guarantee you people will still be complaining and mad as shit because they wanted more they expected more oh it should have went i was waiting for three thousand a share i was waiting for two thousand a share i was waiting for twelve hundred a share just two hundred dollars more now i was waiting for ten thousand a share you still got these greedy people that was wanting more waiting for this waiting for that waiting for that and missed out on another opportunity I guarantee it happen. So my thing is, come up with that plan. Know what you're aiming for. Know where you're going, guys. That's all I got for this video. Just want to give y'all my thoughts on it, my input on it. But get ready though for a banging week, because I do believe we is down at the buy zone. You know, whenever it's at chasing levels, I let you know you're chasing. Even though it could go higher, you're chasing. When it was at 31, 32, 33, you're chasing. Now it's at this level. Ain't nobody asking should they be buying. Ain't nobody asking the same questions they'll ask whenever it's running up. So you already know at this level, no, it's not chasing. This is a buy zone. So you already know, guys. That's all I got for this video. These are my thoughts. These are my opinions. You already know what to do, man. I love y'all. Edgeboy over there on Instagram at the Behave Show, man. And we gone.